and Mitch has joined the battle. Pastrami. <laughs> Pastrami. I <laughs> just go to Yay. Yeah. Can do it. And oh, he's going right. for it. Up. All right, here we go. One v one, baby. Great. Or it shall compulse. Hmm. Collision course. That's a fighting type. As Terra Blast, Flamethrower, and Endure. Originally at level 68, one number off. Damn. We almost so, had the big numbers, folks. Yeah. Actually, yeah, let me check him for a second. He's fighting in Dragon, so Flamethrower won't do. Hmm. Can use either Terra Blast or Collision Course, but I. Wait a second. I can't do it! I might have to just use Collision Course. Hmm. That... Yeah, why, I, <laughs> I mean, he really was the jerk. Collision Course is obviously his special move. Yeah. You got this, baby. You got this, sandwich. Damn it. He's Terra Blast. You will fall here within this garden paradise and achieve nothing in the in end. end. Oh boy. Ooh. Well, that didn't do much. <laughs> the pop kiss, what the hell? You will not be allowed to destroy my paradise. Obstacles to my goals will be eliminated. Oh, bulk up. Hmm. <sighs> Mm. How the hell are you expected to beat this game? <laughs> yeah, seriously. Shook off the taunt. Hang in there. You can do it. The data say I'm the superior. Fall and become a foundation upon which my dream was built. Giga Impact! Oh my god. Oh my oh. god. Huh? Send it. Oh, he tossed it out. Oh dear. Huh. I might have to, yeah, I have to heal. Gotta do something. Took that hit like a champ! <laughs> Please tell me you have full resource. Yes, I do. Ooh. 20. Okay. Watch it say okay. you can't use it, and you'd be like, what? Oh, God, Rhea. Oh. I might have to actually... Oh. oh. Nope, oh. the terror orb's glowing. Oh. Oh, Let's finish this off. Can we? Here, question for... Oh. I... I don't know if that's his ability doing that, or it's just the morale boost back back there. I think it's giving us like a kitty boost. Oh, oh. it changed the dragon type. I see. Okay. Let's do it. Behold, ponder the orb. Would have been cool if it had like an ultra form just by terrestrializing. Mm -hmm. Woohoo! Oh, Big no. damage. It could also be a scripted thing. 
pitiful. <laughs> Watch, it's like having terrorized in a bit. It's like, <laughs> come on, he can do it. I don't want to use it. I'm going to rub salt on the wound. That could call. Okay. Careful. Don't get too cocky. <laughs> I love how they're handing you the hints. It's like, use the damn attack, you stupid. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> all right, all right. <laughs> <laughs> all right, <laughs> but I'm going to complain about it all the time. <laughs> this time I did not throw. <laughs> no, you did not choke. I'm the alpha uh, male gamer. Long live the king. And then... I win. I win. <laughs> Self-destruct mode active. Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> you have to like, run out of there as fast as possible. Mm-hmm. Wait, uh-oh. It might actually. <laughs> nope. You did it! Stop shouting. It's not going berserk anymore? How? Oh. How very astounding. To think that you would manage to defy even the original professor's final projections. What you get for having a firewall. Are you back to normal? Yes, a completely unforeseen outcome. Even for an AI possessing the most sophisticated technology ever conceived. Even on the brink of despair, you children did not give in and instead proved your worthiness. Showing the wisdom to think for yourselves. The courage to hold faith in your friends. Power Damn it. <laughs> of friendship. For fuck's sakes. And the fortitude to do what had to be done. No matter how difficult your own past may have been. I believe you will be capable of walking whatever paths you chose for yourselves now. With pride. I thank you, Brian. I thank all of you children. But I'm afraid that the time machine cannot be put to a complete stop so long as I am here. It appears I myself am part of the system that ensures the machine reboots when stopped. You know, it sounds pretty tragic, but can we just destroy her? I was gonna say, like, what's stopping us from just, you know, terror blasting that machine? Just gonna burn. Or, like, her, because as long as she's there, the time machine is still active. But what does that mean? Excuse me. I am sorry. You know, when I was watching you all on your adventures from down here, I felt a sense of... Jealousy. I envied you, your freedom. The way that you came together, working in league with your fellows and caring for them. The way that you sought strength and to better yourself, throwing all you are into your battles. The way that you would face down even the greatest enemies to save that which you loved. The way that you never ceased to seek nor to fight for a treasure all your own. And me. S and Samich. And the way that you soared free through the very skies on those wings of yours. Wish that I too might be as free as you all. Free to seek out that which I might treasure above all else. Not bound. Your own treasure. As long as I remain here, the time machine will not stop, for I am inextricably connected to it. So I've made a decision. I will use the time machine to journey to the world of the ancient past that I have dreamed of. What? You can't just leave now. Right when we finally reached you. I must be cavewoman now. Goodbye. 
I am not going only so that the time machine can be stopped. I also cannot deny my desire to see that ancient world for myself. Is this what it feels like to have your heart race with the thrill of adventure? Arvin, I am sorry that I kept the truth from you for so long. I inherited all the thoughts and wishes of the professor, and so I understand better than any. Your mother truly loved you. You can't. You can't just go and say a thing like that now. Damn it, why couldn't I have my mommy issues and scup with it? No. I suppose you're right. I am sorry. Arvin, Koridon, Brian. It is a little sad, but I'm afraid this is goodbye. Mom! Okay. Farewell, my free adventurers. I bid you adieu. Uh, no, it's a river dare. She got that wrong. Professor, can you fail her? No, it's Mercy. Like... It's Mercy Buckets. Mercy Buckets! Mercy Buckets! <laughs> Hot professor, stay with us. No, I must go with my people. Jesus. Fate worse than death. You can travel at the speed of like this. <laughs> How could you just go? Um. Them sparks, kids. Sorry. I'm ruining a moment. You okay, bud? <laughs> you okay, bud? <laughs> you doing okay? You want a soda? Yeah. Somewhere deep down. I kind of already knew it. I knew that thing was fake. But it... When it said my name, using her voice and wearing her face. Even if it was fake, it... It felt real, you know? And so I just... I... Sorry. I don't know what I'm saying. That's okay. I'll do damage. Sandwich. He just keeps saying sandwich as his cry. Sandwich. I guess Koridon is sad too. Oh, but that battle form. How cool is that? It's so strong. It's so fluffy. I really do like it. Mm -hmm. If it tries to nudge at me for a belly rub while it's huge like this, I seriously think I'm going to die. Of cuteness. Hey, now. Let's not skiv over the big win here. Brian and Koridon just saved all of Paldea. Oh, we're so going to be expelled for this. Did we? <laughs> I mean... Y yes I think <laughs> That's right You both did amazing Thanks Brian Yeah that's my bud Brian for ya Your bud Our You know Arvin Even though the professor's gone I bet she's finally having a real fun adventure of her own in the past Yeah Thanks, Penny. Wait. Weird theory. Oh. You think she might have encountered the old Paldean Emperor? Oh, maybe. Like, she didn't venture too far off in the past? Like, at least like around a million when years? Paldea was formed? Hmm. Yeah, actually. Then how would the Violet version work? Maybe... Maybe they where... had like a, like an enterprise or something. Or maybe it's like, oh, Paldea is kind of like a dystopian future, and the past was like oh. high technology. God, that'd be cool. Mm -hmm. What should we do now, Brian? 
Have a sandwich. Yeah, let's have a picnic. Let's, let's go, go home. home. Said it. Come on, everyone. Let's make our way home. Make our way downtown. Saving the world's getting expelled because we went into the pit that we weren't supposed to go into and now we're going to be a deep shit even though we saved the time paradox and everything. And I miss you. Oh my goodness. Just giving it time. Imagine it soft lost the game, you're not allowed to escape. Oh god, yeah. Oh god. <laughs> I'm sorry. I shouldn't say anything. Ah uh, no. <laughs> oh, here we go. <laughs> I got scared. It took a bit. <laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs> it took a bit. Oh man. Oh, hit the pussy. Game's struggling a little bit, yeah. It's like, whoa, 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 whoa. Let's take the long way home. The long <laughs> way home. I don't really... No. We can load up on snacks first. I'm in. Hey, Brian, not you too. Hey, I was hungry. <laughs> oh, the night. I want sandwich. Ha 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 ha! I wish we were boys. <laughs> there, there. Ed Sheeran blasts in the background during events <laughs> and credits. Copyright strike. Oh, I was sure. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> Wait, is that actually? I <laughs> I muted it. I am so sorry, fellas, but I've heard about this. That this is a song made by Ed Sheeran. Wait, it's actually true. I thought I was joking. And it's extremely DMCA'd. Oh no, I was joking, Brian. <laughs> I've heard about this from people, and that's... You had to actually, like, mute the song if you don't want to get DMCA'd. So I'm probably just gonna have to have some... I actually don't know what to put for for music. Don't worry, we'll, we'll find a way. And yeah, also that because that both your Discord or the desktop audio and the game's audio are in the same recording, so unfortunately you can't be able to listen to it. What? <laughs> okay, but like I I legitimately did it like was making a joke. I didn't think that was the actual case. I was being sarcastic because I heard Ed Sheeran did do a collab with like Pokemon Go at least. So, yep. I didn't know it actually happened. So they actually did put it in. <laughs> oh, but that's terrible. It, it, yeah, it kind of is. Oh, uh, no, that was Pokemon Scarlet. I mean, kind, <laughs> I guess. kind of give it credit that they're like doing collabs like this, but if it's gonna like DMCA something like that, it shouldn't work. <laughs> you could be like, know. you could be like Tom Fox make like an obnoxious singing version of <laughs> King of Hearts. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I, I would not know the lyrics <laughs> to this song. You don't even have but to yeah, talk that, the emotion. That was the main story of Pokemon Scarlet. I, this has been like, but besides the lag issues and. Of course, this uh, music. This has been a really awesome game. Like this. Literally, though, almost all the Pokemon were so good. Almost like all of them. 
Um, the narrative was pretty good. Like the Team Star stuff, the Titan stuff, the end story. Well, yeah, the end story. Except for Nimona. I mean, gotta have like a basic route. And then you have like the the evil or like the bad guy route and then you have like the lore route but still like the only thing that didn't pique my interest out of all the characters was Nimona um like all the most of the characters were very likable though <laughs> and who could not forget the Super Mario Club <laughs> god yeah no Endlessly open worlded too. I love what they're still trying to test through. Like this was probably from their testing from uh, Pokemon Legends, where it was almost all open worlded. Like in Pokemon Legends, it had loading screens to the open areas, and now this one is just the entire world is open world. Like no loadings. Or, yeah, like, little to no um, loading stuff. Also, that was the song right there, mm -hmm. Celestial. I haven't heard it. Um, but, you know, can't listen to it right now, but I'm sure it's saying something. The music was pretty good, though. Most of the music is really good. And we have to thank uh, <laughs> some of the guys besides uh, Toby Fox for this, and... Uh, the design? Thank you, Twitter Twins. The design was, uh... Like, I did like the design for this, oh, like... Cute. Yeah, that is cute. Even Sandwich got a picture. A no, I honestly really like this game. I love the gimmick for this, too, the terrestrialization. I was about to, like, explain about that in the previous session. Like, I know how it works in competitive. Mm -hmm. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, uh -oh. oh I think we're gonna get expelled. Okay. So... I... Am I able to express my thoughts before, you know, we get in trouble? Yeah, no, go ahead. I think I've said most of my part. I mean, as far as I've seen, um... I do like some of, like, the designs that did show up for these, uh, for these Pokemon. Yeah, there were the leg issues, there were the, the glitches, but I feel like the glitches also oh. came to the enjoyment of the game, because, like, even though it's like, oh yeah, the, the game company shouldn't have, like, all these ears, but it's like, sometimes even those are just kind of, like, a good laugh to have, even for the sake of, like, oh yeah, even if it was a fully priced game, if you're not enjoying yourself in general, like, if it's something unbearable to play, then yeah, it, it is an issue when it comes to the end of it, but... If it's just to be like, oh, that was actually fucking funny, like, I don't see an issue. Like, yeah, it's sure, in general, it is a problem for a game to have such errors when the game comes out, but it wasn't anything that, like, critically ruined anything. I mean, yeah, there were some people that had the huge leg issues, like, with frames and Or, blood, like, the, but, like, people the numerous that... bugs that people discovered, like, the, the modeling breaking and all that. Yeah, like, people overcame it over time, and I know how a lot of people can be dismissed by that. In the matter of, like, uh, story and all that stuff, I, I will personally say that I don't like what they did. Like, they kind of, like, made the designs of said gyms kind of one-dimensional. Like, there isn't really, like, yeah. as much, like, energy and thriving between, like, all the characters that are seen. And I think the issue comes from there is a lot that is put in there like we have to deal with eight gym leaders uh elite four members the teachers the team star people the titan pokemon and just like having so much like characters to develop in that some things kind of get lost if you're unable to find the way to say hey maybe we should do like something like this like Yes, this is a game for little kids, so yeah, the challenges were a little anticlimactic, last hmm. lackluster, and a bit too easy at the end of it. Yeah, you got a Master Ball. Yay, hoo hoo. Yeah, by the way, uh, each one of us got a Master Ball. Oh, congratulations, I will throw it on a Magic Carp. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, yeah, like, there are some gyms that I was kind of disappointed that they didn't really explore the themes that they had. 
but there were some like decently designed gym leaders that I was kind of like, oh, that's actually a cool concept. I just wish, you know, they kind of explored that a bit more instead of just making them like, well, they're, they're there. Like, um, and yeah, like, even the story between the three characters, while well, Nimona is like your basic average rival, like, we've seen that all before, though, and if it becomes, like, to the point where the character becomes more of a hindrance, then somebody's be like, oh yeah, like, I'm excited to fight you, then, you know, that's kind of an issue. Penny's character with, like, all the friends and stuff, that, I thought that was pretty cute, I mean... Even with all the characters, like, learning to try to overcome their enemies, but also having, like, the abstract destruction of, like, how that ended up backfiring on them. Yeah, there, it was a pretty, like, decent story in comparison to, like, other, like, enemy teams and all that. And even though they weren't, like, exactly a threat, they were just, like, hey, they were just fun people. And I, I honestly feel like Arvin's story has probably been the best we've seen since maybe, like, N. Like, in the way of, like, having a development where, like, characters had issue with their family members and, like, seeing how much they're trying to work to their goal. I'm trying to see what I remember from, and I know you haven't played this one, uh, X and Y. There was this thing about, like, his name is called AZ. He was a really tall guy and he lost his floet. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's the it's been 8,000 years guy? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> but yeah, it's like... It's, there are certain, like, characters that have had that kind of thing. I feel like, uh... Uh, what's... What's her... The girl's name in Sun and Moon, the blonde one? Uh, Lily? Yeah, Lily and Gladion. They almost had the same, like, dimension as, like, N. But, like, yeah, they, they also had their faults, too. But it's also, like, I feel like it was further explored with Arvin because we were able to see him mm -hmm. not only try to have this growth of like understanding what his <laughs> what his parent was trying to do in the end but also like trying to recover from like a huge loss like he almost had his Pokemon killed trying to figure out what the hell was going on and I thought that was yeah I was think the Titan story was probably the best to explore even though like some of it seemed like oddly placed with like the giant Pokemon and he's like fuck this rock in particular <laughs> Yeah. Also, um, he didn't have enough to graduate, so he still has to go to school. Uh, get educated. Oh yeah, you also have to. <laughs> Everything else in public needs to be, you know, low key because we don't want you to be bullied to death. They're gonna be celebrating me to get champion rank, oh. just like her. Oh boy. <laughs> Could we not? Thank you. But yeah, it's like. It did have its faults. I feel like some things could have been developed more and other things it's like, wow, that's like kind of a hidden gem from this game. Is it the best in the series? No. I'm, I'll am i be honest with you, it's probably not the best. It's, I'd say like somewhere under <sighs> red and blue. Yeah, I, like in, in the ranking of my style, I think this is like safe middle ground where it's just like yeah it has like good characteristics and all that but it still feels like in certain areas it did feel like kind of barren open wasteland that didn't really have much to it but like you can see where the designs came from like some of the designs are actually pretty decent like Yita for example like that's actually a pretty cool design when you end up I still definitely loved like all the Pokemon have been inspired by the culture of Spain yeah like which is something that is always cool to look at in the end is that sometimes if you associate a theme to it sometimes you'll actually ha end up having cool Pokemon. Like, is it like the best, like, best designs, best music, all that? Honestly, no. I mean that's also nostalgia bias. I mean, we grew up with Pokemon Ruby and Sapphire cells, and so I hold Hoenn near and dear to my heart, even though to some people Hoenn is like the worst generation they've ever seen. But it's like to each your own. I think it was pretty fine. Oh. Oh, this is the battle of the teachers. Okay, so... I guess she was saying, like... I think it's, like, some sort of uh, tournament that's happening here. Um... To see who is the strongest trainer in the academy here. Is this allowed? 
fuck is that allowed? It's called the Academy Ace Tournament, it looks like. Yeah, but overall thoughts wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. It's not the yeah, worst, no, I... but it's not the best. I still say it's like, it's pretty... <laughs> I hate to use the word. Tear. But like, yeah, it's... It's like, I wouldn't call it a perfect game. But I think they did some things that I feel like the Pokemon games have been missing for a while. So. Yeah. Sorry, I, I kind of went on a tangent there. <laughs> But I felt like you needed to hear my thoughts. <laughs> oh, yeah. I love hearing other people's thoughts. Mm -hmm. Well. <laughs> well. <laughs> as much as I like. <laughs> In comparison to negative opinion. <laughs> right. <laughs> I, I've grown, actually, to uh, not care about those negative thoughts from other people. Yeah, everyone has their opinions in the end. Some people may call this the worst Pokemon of all time. Some people may call this their new favorite. It's Pokemon is Pokemon. You're just gonna get it, end up getting it. Even though, like, some people are like, oh, Game Freak should be better than this. It's like, yeah, they should, but, you know, this is what we got. On to another crucial matter. I'd like to discuss with Penny here how to patch the weakness in our- Oh. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, fuck. Uh, but there's a bunch of anime I've missed that I was just gonna... Binge. <laughs> Yo, mood? Thank you in advance for your willing and eager quarter cooperation. Otherwise, you'd be expelled. Uh, I, I mean, I'll... I'll do it. <laughs> Uh. Alright, so it's going to be a tournament to achieve champion rank. And we'll be doing gym leader rematches, and you can also do the team star rematches. Penny assisting the league, our new champion inspecting gyms, Nimona arranging the events. Give it your best. <laughs> what about you? Yes, my role's so obvious it goes without saying. <laughs> Do your homework. Actually, yeah, I've just noticed. Do we even get Koridon? <laughs> yes, but actually, no. Oh. If you select Koridon while the main menu is open, you can have it change between its battle form and ride form. Oh! I see. But then, what if I want to use it while I'm riding it and use it in battle? Yes, but actually no. Then maybe that's what the Cyclozars are for. Mm. Yeah, well, yeah, since we released them, they'll have to be out there somewhere. God, look at this. Damn. Paradox. Oh, yeah, because he's also... Okay, so they're <laughs> called Paradox version. Pokemon. <laughs> There's This seems to be the Winged King mentioned in the old Expedition Journal. It is said to have split the land with its bare fists. Damn. And then... uh doesn't it have uh, the baby form? No baby. No, I guess not. <laughs> All right. <laughs> well, we'll hunt for some more t uh, paradox Pokemon. F see all the gym leaders again. Get to school. Get back to yeah. Get back to school, and uh, hopefully, I'll see some new Pokemon next time on the post game of Pokemon Scarlet. Hee hoo! Very exciting. Yeah, thank you, <laughs> thank you so much for watching up to this point. Yay, you did it. Are you happy with yourself? Go get some water, stretch. Yeah. Yes. Ooh. And if you're watching this at one o'clock in the morning, what the fuck you doing? Go to bed. 
Yeah, what are you doing? <laughs> this is a work day. This is a work day. Also, a school night. A school night. What are you doing? Go to bed. Psyduck on his way to bed. Oh, yeah. I'm going. Oh, oh bed. Oh. <laughs> oh, wait. It is Psyduck he going to you. bed. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, out of class, disappears. Oh, I hope you were still recording that. <laughs> no, I am. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay.